Hello everyone, this is another edition of Reef Automation Tutorials for Neptune Systems. Today I'm going to show you how to program voice control. Currently, voice control with Neptune is via Amazon Alexa devices such as Echo Dots uh, and Echo Shows and so forth. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do to get this going is you're going to go up to the top to your sign on and you're going to go to settings and make sure that you have installed the Amazon Alexa app onto your system and how you do that is you'll go to your phone and you'll go to the Alexa app you'll click on that and you'll look at skills and then you'll find the Neptune system skill. You're going to want to make sure that the Neptune system skill is installed on your Amazon Alexa and then you're going to link it to your Fusion account. Once you've done that you will see that your Apex will show up right here and you can of course adjust it and change the name if you'd like. That's not really necessary. So we'll go back to your Apex. You click on the Apex and you'll go up to the gear here and then you'll go to the microphone icon. So there's a couple things that you can do. The first thing you can do is you can have a status report that it states whenever you ask it to give you a status report. And the voice activation for that would be ask Neptune Systems for a status report. And what you can do is you can add whatever you'd like here. For my status report, I have my reef temperature, my reef salt, my fish temperature, and my fish salt. So what that will do is it'll announce what my reef temperature currently is and my salt on my reef and it'll also announce my fish temperature and my fish salt. You can adjust which one you want it to say in which order and of course you can add additional ones if you'd like. You know you can add if something is closed or something is open. You can add what your alkalinity is if you have a trident. So you can do just about anything. You can ask it if an output is open and it will just give you a status report. You can edit it or remove it right here. And then you can also program outlets and feed modes. So what you can do is if you go to the plus sign here and you want it to have a feed mode and you can call this feed fish tank. Whenever you say Alexa ask Neptune systems to feed fish tank it will use whatever C feed mode is and it will do the feed mode. You can also have it do an outlet. So you can pick an outlet in here and it can be a virtual outlet. It can be any outlet in the entire system. So for instance, I can do my heater and I can say reef heater. And when you do an outlet, it has three modes. It has on, off, and auto. So what you can do is you can say, Alexa, have Neptune systems turn off reef heater or have Neptune systems turn reef heater to auto and it will set the output to whatever specifically you state. And again, I have a couple here already that I can show you. I have my feed mode A, which is feed the reef tank. Now, the alias is very specific. You have to specifically put what you want to say. So if there's a the in there, you have to say feed the reef tank. You can't say feed reef tank. It won't work. Also, feed the office tank is also in there. I have one for fish tank maintenance. I have one for my skimmer if I wanted to, which Looks like I need to adjust that one because uh, I no longer have an office skimmer, so we can remove that guy. And then office tank maintenance, reef tank maintenance, and I have a scrubber on my fish tank that I can shut off with my voice. So again, alias is very important, and this is the outlet, and there's three states of the outlet, and the three states of the outlet would be on, auto, or off. And that's basically it for programming voice control. At this point in time, um, it only is able to be used with an Amazon device. It is not currently able to be used with a Google device or a Google Home device. That will probably be added in the future, but as you can see, the voice is still in the beta state. And at this time, right now, you can only currently use it in the beta state. So that's about it. Um, I hope you liked the video, and if you did, please put a thumbs up at the bottom there. If you have any comments or questions, just leave them in the comments below. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and hit the bell icon so you're notified when I do new videos. 
I do a lot of programming videos and reviews of automation products. And also, of course, I have my live streams where I give away things. So hope to see you at live streams and thank you again for watching.